All right, today what we're gonna be doing is taking apart a Predator 500 motor. We're gonna start off by taking off the head, we'll take off the starter, intake boot, stator cover. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is take this head cover off. We'll have four bolts up top here. Lift this off. There'll be a, a seal in here, so that'll that might stay on the head. We'll have to pull that off at some point. Next, we'll take the cam holders off. So we have four eight millimeter headed bolts here and here. But first, what we want to do is pull the cam chain tensioner off, and that's just right here. We want to do that to take the pressure off of that cam chain. and there'll be some pressure on this. So you can pull this out to take the tension off or you can unscrew it right here with these two. And you'll wanna do this evenly so that it doesn't break that tensioner. Pressure from that cam chain. Then you have the tensioner there. That's the cam chain tensioner. Okay, now that'll take most of the pressure off of these, this cam chain. So we'll be able to pull these off without breaking the holders. Going back, going back together, these will be torqued. And there's the cam chain, or the cam holder right there. Now we can take these off. You have exhaust over here on this side. Be careful, there is um, holders that ride down in here. Each of these, sometimes they stay on the holder itself, sometimes they stay on the cam, so just be careful not to drop that in there. There we go, there. There's the intake cam and exhaust cam. We'll just let that chain drop because we're tearing the whole motor apart. If you're just doing the top end, you want to make sure and hold that up. Next, we'll pull this head off. We have two 8 millimeter bolts over here. We have a coolant sensor over here with one blue and white wire lead. We'll and pull these four head bolts off. Those were a 15 millimeter socket with a 12 point. All right, there'll be four of those, and those are fairly long. There's a washer on those. All right, now that those are off, shouldn't have anything else holding this head on. Pull this head off. This one lost a valve, so we'll have some valve damage on this one. Clean that up. Now the head is off. There, you got the cylinder. You can see what the valve did to the, the piston there, it blew a hole in that. Then that cylinder will be ready to come off to this cam chain guide. We'll just pop right out of here. This side will. This side's going to be attached down in the bottom. So we'll set that with the tensioner there. There's your cam chain hanging out there. So this will just pull right off then. The cylinder looks good. Now we'll pull this piston off while we're here. I'll tip this motor sideways and there's a circlip on these pistons. That will pull off here. You just hang on to it with your fingers so it doesn't, it doesn't go flying. All right. Then that piston pin should just slide out. They've been they've gotten hot, sometimes you gotta push them out with something else. All right, and that piston comes off just like that. Pull the starter off. That'll take two eight millimeter head bolts right there. And that'll just pull out of there. And there's your starter there. 
Next, we'll take the stator off, stator cover. Take the shifter off to get it out of the way. This, this one has an eight millimeter head holding it in. When you're lining this up, or when you're putting this back together, there's a dot right here on this shift, um, shift rod, and this shifter lines up with that. So you just wanna pay attention when you're putting it back together that that gets lined up. So we'll pull this counter shaft sprocket off. That's two 10 millimeter headed bolts. And then you got to do a little bit of a turn to line these splines up when you're pulling this off. This will slide right out of there. Okay, now we'll pull this stator cover off. I have a handful of 8mm head bolts here. Okay, and there's, this is magnetic in there, so it'll take a little bit to pull this off sometimes. All right. Okay, and there's your stator inside there. And now we have the flywheel. And we'll need a special puller for that flywheel. We'll take this gear position sensor off, tap on that bolt a little bit to get the grime out of the, the and then this will just slide right out of there. This is made of plastic, so if you got to pry on it, be very careful. You don't, you can easily break a corner of it off. An O-ring, kind of holding everything in there so that's the gear position sensor or some might call it the neutral switch next we'll pull this flywheel 19 millimeter head here 